Okay, so now we have our Illustrator file finished. We're going to import it to give it some animation. It's important that we divided it up into layers because, as you'll see, the animation has to be done layer by layer, as I said. Press the U key and we're going to see that all of the keyframes that we've used and in the lower ornament as well. In these ornaments, as compositions are going to be duplicated and reverted so that we can have the left side and the right side animated all the same. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is in our project window, hit right click, import, file, and we'll look for the wedding project that we made in Illustrator. We hit import, it'll normally tell us to import as footage, but in this case we need it to be a composition. Because if not, all of the layers in the Illustrator files are going to combine, or it'll let you use just one of the layers. But we want to work on all of the layers together divide it up. So we'll click on composition and leave the dimensions on layer size and hit OK. And there we have our composition created. In this composition we'll double click and we see the layers that have been created. But in this case, obviously, they're in black because that's how they were in Illustrator. First, we're going to convert them into shape layers. So, we'll go to each layer and right click, create shapes from vector layer. Illustrator works with vector files. So when we hit shapes, we're going to create a shape that doesn't have to be anchored to the Illustrator file. It's just going to be an After Effects file. We're going to create a file here where we can put all of our Illustrator files. This is going to help us a lot because we're going to animate this as stroke line. We can't do that if they're in Illustrator files. So we have to convert them into After Effects files. So just hit right click, create shapes, and we'll see that now there's a shape layer. The original layer has been hidden and we can erase this layer now, hitting delete. What we'll do now is to advance a little faster. Just click on the last one, hit shift and go up holding shift. I click on the first, I right click, create shapes from vector, layer it doesn't it doesn't matter if the numbers you get here are a little different because there's no value to them really we can give it any name and now we can delete the illustrator folder that's been created i'll click on it and hit delete i'll hit okay on delete and now we'll see that it's been eliminated from our composition as well. If we zoom in and hit on a line we can modify the color of this line and also the width. Hit on all of the lines and we'll change them to white. 
I'm going to press the transparency button so I can see them better. We'll select them all and change them to white. We can do this because we change them to layers in After Effects. Another reason it's necessary to do is it, it gives us other advantages as well. When we're animating, let's uh, make these round bits white. We'll do the same with the other ornament that's on the bottom. First, select the lines to make them white. And then the round bits to make their fill white. We hit OK. Press the transparency button again. And when we zoom out, we'll see that we're ready to start animating. First, we're going to separate these layers. And we'll do this for this ornament here at the top and the ornament at the bottom. Before this, let's see if when we imported our file, we created a composition. We hit right click and composition settings to see if the settings have been set. In this case, they're all in the same dimensions in which we made our file in Illustrator. 1920 by 1080 pixels. We have to make sure it's at 29.97 FPS. And in this case, I've given it a duration of 10 seconds. We don't always get the same setting when we import something. So that's why we have to make sure Although the animation lasts less, I've given it 10 seconds. This is going to be useful because when I show you how to make this animation disappear, we'll use this technique to modify the animation time easily. But it's okay, we're gonna see that at the end. Hit okay and we're ready to animate. First select all of the layers on the top ornament. I'll go to the Layer tab and hit Precompose and I'll give it the name Top Ornament, but you know in Spanish. Hit OK and now we have the top ornament. We'll go back to the original file and here we have it. Let's select the ones on the bottom. But first, I'm going to block the top ornament. Select the lower layers, go to Layer, Precompose, and I'll give it the name Bottom Ornament. Hit OK. I'm going to block it and in this case, I have left the crown to one side. Let's see if this one is the big lines. I'll put in hitting accept. I'll write crown. And this other layer is the little line. I'll hit accept. I'll write crown line. And I'm going to put it at the bottom. I'm going to anchor it, uh, anchor this line towards the crown, so that all the animation I do on this small crown goes to the line as well. And as we saw in the final composition, I closed it. Here it is. Remember that we did the animation independently. That's the same we're going to do now. Ooh-wee!